film photography is totally different in 2020 to what it was 20 plus years ago in its heyday. These days, the majority of film photographers want to be able to share their images on the internet. The problem with this is that over the last 20 years, the much bigger organisations that were involved in supporting the film photography industry have to a greater extent fallen away. So whilst we still have Kodak, Fuji, Ilford, etc., making film, there's no new film cameras and there's very little support from large organisations when it comes to digitising film as well. The result of this is that smaller organisations are starting to bring products to market that solve many of the problems of digitising. Modern digital cameras and lenses are such high quality that they can do a fantastic job of digitally capturing the, the images that are inside film. The problem is twofold. There's how to hold the film in such a way that you can take a photo of it with a digital camera and then what to do with that digital image when it comes out the other side out of the digital camera. Fortunately, there are a whole load of companies that are uh, supporting both the, the mechanical problem of holding the film and the digital problem of what to do with those files. And, and that's what I'm going to be talking a little bit about in this video today. In terms of the, the types of digital cameras that can be used to digitise film, essentially the, the answer to that is any type of digital camera. So even a mobile phone can be used to take a reasonably adequate image of a negative for sharing on, on the internet. But once you've decided on your, the camera that you're going to use to digitise your negatives, you, you still need to make some decisions on those, on those other problems. First, uh, I'll talk about the problem of holding the negative, how we, how we actually hold that negative and, and, and backlight it and, 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 and indeed the camera. So again, this comes down to how good a quality an image you want. You can literally hold a negative up to a window and uh, take a, a snap of it with, with an iPhone. If it's a black and white negative, you could just drop it into something like Snapseed on your phone and, uh, and invert the curve and get a probably fairly low quality result, but nonetheless, you would be able to see the image. Moving up from there, you can find some method of, of holding the film flat in a film holder, of which there are many now on the market. That could be held up against window light or a, a, a desk lamp or a, a proper photographic light source. To increase the quality from there, the best thing to do is to use a proper camera. Uh, mirrorless cameras or digital SLRs that have you know high quality live view are I would argue slightly easy to use. The best way to use a digital camera is to use some sort of stand to hold that camera. So that might be a tripod or better still a copy stand. By using a copy stand the camera can be held parallel or as parallel as possible to the surface of the film on the base of the copy stand below. And then it's just a case of using one of the various film holders that are available on the market and indeed a light source. For the benefit of this demonstration, we're using um, Pixelator, which is uh, my invention, and we're using a Kaiser copy stand and a Kaiser light source. Pixelator, uh, as a device, allows you to hold 35mm between half frame, full frame, all the way up to 24mm by 120mm if you can find a camera that will take a frame that size. It also allows you to digitise 120 film between 645 and 612 and 5x4 film as well. So to use Pixelator, you, uh, you load the film into the back of the frame, then you press the film into the frame using the diffuser, you then turn it over if it's one of the roll films, either 120 or 35mm, you drop in the relevant gates to hold the film flat on the four edges of the frame that you're looking to digitise. With the backlight switched on, illuminating the film from behind, you then focus the lens on the surface of the film and take your shot. And then repeat this process for, for as many of the frames of the film as you want. Pixelator is one of the least expensive options for holding film on the market today. It's also arguably the most flexible uh, because of all the different film types that you can hold in it. There are plenty of other options on the market. There's the Sunbox and the Negative Supply, which is probably the highest end product on the market today. There are also new products coming to market all the time that solve these problems. Uh, so we've also got from Ethan at Camera Dactyl, he's bringing to market a, a film holder that automatically winds the film and detects frame edges and triggers a camera as well. So 
there are lots of different solutions for holding the film as well as backlighting it. Which one you will choose depends on your budget and the level of precision that you want to apply to the process. Once you've taken your digital images, the next problem to solve is what to do with them, how to turn those digital negatives into photos that can be shared. Again, this is an industry that is, seems to be growing all the time. For a long time, the only automated solution to this problem was a piece of software called Color Perfect, which is a Photoshop plugin. If you didn't use that, the process of inverting your negatives was something that had to be done uh, manually, which is uh, not impossible, but it is, it is quite difficult, uh, certainly to get consistent results. We now have software such as FilmLab app, which is a desktop and smartphone app. The smartphone version lets you take a photo of the negative with your phone and convert it in app. The desktop version allows you to import a photo uh, and convert it in the desktop software. But then also on laptop desktop computers, we now have Negative Lab Pro, which is a really quite excellent Lightroom plugin, which takes advantage of the, the workflow that, that Lightroom offers. We also have a couple of Photoshop-based plugins that have come to market just recently, uh, one of which is Grain to Pixel, which is actually free. Ultimately, whichever one of these software solutions you choose, the idea is, is that you, you take your digital negative and you put it into the software, you select a few parameters, click go, and what comes out the other end is a image ready to share on the internet. Ultimately, whichever way you choose to digitize your film with a digital camera, there are lots of different solutions to the various problems. Whilst there is a steep learning curve, the considerable volume of resources online, which is growing every day, not least the various Facebook groups and Twitter. But if you have any specific questions, feel free to get in touch via our website, pixelated.com, which is P-I-X-L hyphen L-A-T-R.com. Cheers for watching.